Let's continue from where we left off in the first part of this movie series. Select and delete all lights in the scene. The scene is once again illuminated with default lighting. To light a scene in a natural way, especially an exterior scene during daytime, it is often best to use a daylight system. The daylight system can be found in the Create Systems panel. System is a key word here and signifies that the light is made of different components. In this case, one component simulates direct lighting as it comes from the sun. The other simulates scattered lighting as it comes from Earth's atmosphere. When you click the Daylight button, a warning appears, prompting you to use exposure control for your renderings. Typically, you answer yes to that. Exposure control enables you to fine-tune the lighting balance, much the same way you do when you take pictures with a camera. But more on that in a moment. You are now ready to create the daylight system. In the top view, click and drag to create a compass icon. This defines the north direction. When the compass is created, move the mouse up a bit to define the orbital scale, or sun position. Click when the sun position is clearly above the scene geometry. Next, you define parameters such as geographic positioning and time of day. You can position your scene anywhere in the world by specifying latitudes and longitudes, or simply by using the Get Location dialog. Here you can easily select a continent, a country, a city by clicking it on the map, or by choosing it from a list. Let's have fun with this army outpost and place it in Managua, Nicaragua. Next, set the time of day to 9 a.m. You can adjust the north direction to suit the specific orientation of your terrain, or simply because it makes the render look better. At any time, you can adjust these parameters after you've done a few test renders. In fact, you can animate most of these parameters to create shadow studies, for example. At this time, you can test render the camera view. It looks alright, but there are still things missing, such as a background. Go to the Modify panel. Notice that the Daylight System's parameters are set to the standard Skylight options. These lights are not much different from other standard lights we have covered, such as Omni and Direct. They do a good job of approximating and balancing lights, but are not physically accurate. Other options include MR Sun, which is the option you want to use when you use the Mental Ray Renderer. Similarly, you want to use MR Sky to simulate lighting from the atmosphere. Again, this is a Mental Ray tool and should be used only when the Mental Ray Renderer is active. When you choose this option, a dialog appears, prompting you to use the MR Physical Sky Environment Map. Answer yes to that. This option will display a background at render time that is based on a gradient that shifts colors depending on the time of day. Render the scene again. It looks much better, but might still require some adjustments to the light balance. Click the Environments and Effects dialog icon. Here you can see that the MR Physical Sky is in use, and that MR Photographic Exposure Control has been set to EV15 when you created the daylight system. There are two ways to adjust the light balance, either by using the exposure value, EV, or by using photographic exposure. In photographic exposure mode, you adjust values such as shutter speed, f-stop, and ISO, much like you do with a real-life camera. If you don't have a photographic background, simply use the EV value. The smaller the EV value, the brighter the scene. Set the EV value to 14 and render again. The scene is now brighter. With the Daylight System still selected, go to the Motion panel. Here you can change the time of day again. Set the hours value to 16. That's 4 p.m. Render the scene again. It's darker somewhat and requires a slight adjustment to the exposure value. Set the EV value to 13.5 and try again. Try a render at 17.30. That's 5.30 p.m. If the sun is setting in the camera axis, you'll be able to see it in the render. 
you now know how to illuminate a scene using natural or sunlight. In the next movie, you light the same scene with artificial or man-made lights to simulate night lighting.